Sometimes we think you have to have the biggest and best title to have the deepest wisdom. On my travels, I have found the people with the deepest wisdom are just your everyday people, regular people who just happen to know things. Listen intensely as we hear stories of wisdom from everyday people. I started this podcast because I want to share wisdom from regular people who know things. Thus, regular people who know things, stories of wisdom from everyday people. I have often learned more from the lady beside me in the grocery store aisle than any great leader in our world. For this intro episode, I thought it fit to share my own story before diving into the stories of others. I like to be transparent. I think authenticity breeds authenticity, and I wanted to set the stage of my podcast from the beginning. The vibe is to be real. You cannot make realness. It just is. So here I go. I was born in Chicago. We lived in Southside at the time of my birth. I didn't live there long. We ended up moving back to my mom's hometown in Hamilton, New Jersey. I was raised there until I was eight years old. Then we moved to my grandfather's hometown of Rome, Georgia. I moved six times within the seven years we lived in Rome. And then it was off to Andrew, North Carolina. I ended up at two more high schools and graduated from Fuquay Verena High School. From there, college, from there, marriage, kids, and here I am. But there's a lot more to a person's story than that, right? For me, the important part of my story is how diversely raised I was. I was not a military brat, as one would say. However, going to the various schools I went to introduced me to a wide array of cultures, which have shaped me today. I ate hoagies and went to the shore in Jersey. I swam in creeks and ran around barefoot in Georgia. I was educated in the colleges of North Carolina. Now I'm living the Midwestern life. I lived abroad in Mexico with a host family where I learned the importance of sitting down and eating a meal with your family for extended periods of time. I line danced in the boondocks of the South to Shania Twain and Billy Ray Cyrus. It's just who I was raised to be. For this reason, I can relate to many different types of people. In the end, I like my reggae party music and Erica Badu albums. What I love is to travel alone and see great wonders, mostly people who amaze me. I homeschool my children and I enjoy volunteering, but who am I really? In all of this, I find that I am a tender hearted woman with a fierce spirit that will not stop fighting to live. The wisdom nugget I would share with others is to get to know people, sit down with them a few times even, and ask questions. You may find that they lost a child just like you. They may have trouble getting a project started just like you. They may know some things just like you. When I invited my storytellers to share their lives, I let them know they were free to talk about anything. This gives people freedom to be. I hope you enjoy the stories up ahead. I know I do. Thanks for joining me.